Sunshine Coast is home to many treasures, but one that stands tall above them all is a luxury island escape we're heading to now. And to get there, a private boat and skipper is provided. How long do we get there, Skip? Not long at all. Five minutes down the river and we'll be at our little getaway. Oh, sounds good to me. We'll reveal where we're going a little bit later in the show. Today, Courtney visits a quaint country town south of Toowoomba. It's Leeburn, isn't it? Leeburn. Yeah. yeah def definitely not Leeburn. I kept saying, I, like, I said Leeburn, <laughs> so I was well off. Al checks out Brisbane's newest and healthiest foodie trend. Love it. So fresh. Such purity and clarity of flavour. And we visit the Gold Coast village of Tugan. <laughs> Everyone is lovely and supportive and we all support each other. But first, here's Jess. La 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 Nailed that one. Tonight I'm making my on stage debut as a singer. Look, I know what you're thinking, that I can't sing, but here's a twist. At this performance, it doesn't matter. La 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 Tonight I'm just one voice amongst hundreds. Part of a choir unlike any other. A pub choir that's become a sensation. Things are about to kick off. The venue is packed, as you can see. There's definitely a buzz in the air. There's no audition to join pub choir. Just show up, grab a drink and harmonise. Who has been to pub choir before? Just give me a little like a... Pub Choir was created by music maestros and good mates Meg and Astrid in 2017. 70 keen singers showed up. Now, the venue's bursting at the seams and tickets sell out in minutes. It's amazing what Pub Choir has done because we've got so many people coming together. So we created this choir for our friends because we wanted to sing with our mates. So we added a beer to it and then it's just grown. There have been a couple of moments when I've just stood and I haven't been singing and I've just listened to everyone and it's, yeah, I yeah, cheer up a little bit or I get like the goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meg's role is as a no-nonsense MC who keeps the show running smoothly. What we need to do to move into three-part harmony is we're going to put you into three different groups. Astrid's role is to create a unique arrangement for the chosen song and lead the choir. And we've got 90 minutes to learn it before our big performance. Hi ladies, hi! Blue is for you. If you see anything underlined and bold and black, everybody sings that at the same time. That's all you really need to know for this. I think a lot of people really want to sing, but they're worried that they might not be good enough or they might not know enough. Everyone sings with their favourite pop songs at barbecues and at birthday parties, so just come to the pub and do it with us. Looking around, I think everyone's having the time of their lives, so yeah. everyone's enjoying themselves. Awesome, that's, that's the goal. I mean, who, it, that is more important to me than getting it perfect. It's more important that people feel good, so that's great to hear. <laughs> Like any good night out at the pub, you're bound to make a few new friends, like Vicky. Yeah. Well, I never thought I'd join a choir, yep. but this one is hands down the totally sold. This is the coolest choir yeah. I could ever have imagined to be a part of. Vicky was hooked the first time she did pub choir, and she hasn't missed one since. I love the fact that there's that sense of community, you know, throughout all of this, that it brings so many people together from all walks of life, all ages, all singing abilities, and, you know, you, you make friends here. It's, it's really cool. Time for the finale. Let's do it. When will they go from here? When will they stop? Click too early. Pub Choir is a fantastic way to make new friends and have a great time. It's on once a month at the Tivoli in Brisbane and the choir performs a different song each month.
got a little general store. We've got a little RSL club up here. You got it all here. Yep. Uh, post office, pub, motel. What, what else do we you need? need? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> As far as country towns go, Leeburn, about 70 clicks south of Toowoomba, is as small and laid back as you could expect, with a population at last count at around 400. Uh, the thing I love the most is the peace and quiet, the lovely little town that we're lucky enough to live in, especially this time of year, so green. Spelt L-E-Y-B-U-R-N, there's an easy way to distinguish yourself as an out-of-towner. Leeburn, isn't it? Leeburn. Yeah. yeah def definitely not Leeburn. I kept saying, I, like, I said Leeburn, yeah. so I was well off. <laughs> every, every, everybody does it, but they, uh, yeah, they don't like it. The <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. No, Got to make sure I get when that one right. When we first come, we were the same. As the manager for Leeburn Motels and Cabins, Shane meets most of the people passing by. What sort of tourists are you seeing that come through the town? Uh, just weekenders, weekend away, because it's not too far out of Brisbane, like say two and a half hours. It's, they can have a, a weekender, yeah. come in on a Friday night, they can have a look around here, stay the night, come over to the pub for dinner. Originally a mining town, and at one stage its population larger than Toowoomba's, Leeburn is an idyllic country town, except for one weekend in August. The Leeburn Historic Sprint draws about 200 cars and 13,000 people, making it a mecca for car enthusiasts. What's the vibe like? Oh, it's, it's great. They cheer, you know, if you do a burnout, well, you're not allowed to do burnouts, but if you spin the wheels a bit, make a bit of smoke, they love it. <laughs> it's quite an iconic event for the town and for the whole area. And uh, it's a lot of fun to drive the car, so this is just a, an extension of what I already do. Is it an adrenaline rush? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> How fast do you take it? On the straight bits, I reckon 100 k's or more. And what's it like to race on a local track? That must be pretty fun. Well, it is because it's, it's here on your, on your doorstep, you know. It's fantastic. It's the street around the town. This used to be called the Round the Houses. So around the houses we go. Ooh, it's tricky to get into, isn't it? <laughs> oh, listen to that. Floor it. Ooh, that's, a good, <laughs> that's a good start. I didn't spin the wheel. Right. Has a bit of get up and go in it, doesn't she? Well, it does. <laughs> and a trip to Leeburn isn't complete without squeezing in a meal at the good old Royal Hotel. There is nothing better than a palmy at a country pub. Only a couple of hours away from Brisbane, this is a quaint weekend getaway. And Leeburn Motel and Cabins have cute accommodation if you wish to stay overnight. For more destination getaways, visit the Great Day Out website. Welcome to Chugan. We're at Nishiko on Golden 4 Drive. Golden 4 used to be the former highway on the southern end of the coast and it relates to Chugan, Balinga, North Kira and Kira beaches, the four southern beaches. We're really well known for our acai and regarded somewhat as acai specialists. We're also quite well known for our vegan dishes. We created the coast's first vegan egg. is a coconut and almond egg which we make in-house and set. It then has a spiced pumpkin and turmeric yolk. It cuts like an egg, the yolk runs like an egg, but it's a completely plant-based, amazing experience. Chugan's a great village. We're a street back from the beach. We've got Pilates just around the corner from the cafe. Also the House Ubit Cafe, Cafe Caribou. We've got uh, the Craft House right next to us. So we're really surrounded by great, strong local businesses that build up the community. Hi, I'm Penny. I run Chugan Village Florist. We offer the freshest of flowers. They are all handmade with love. We offer a range of things from bouquets to boxed arrangements. I just stumbled across the florist when I found out that the business was for sale. So it was a little bit of a gem and it obviously was meant to be. I just felt that Chugan had a lovely community feel. Everyone is lovely and supportive and we all support each other. Hi, I'm Matt and I run Found Furniture in Chugan. I'm a cabinet maker by trade. I've gone from making kitchens to uh, restoring old furniture. 
Most of this furniture is all old Danish or Norwegian furniture that we've brought into the country and then restored. We restore lots of people's finds that they find, all their family heirlooms and things like that, and we bring them back to life. We've been in Chugin for just bordering on 12 years. Everybody knows everybody here. It's a great community, everyone looks out for everybody. It still feels like a small little town here, and yeah, it's nice and quiet. It's close to Burley, it's close to everywhere, and it has a beautiful beach. And some days you can get it to yourself, and no one's down there, which is rare on the Gold Coast. Grill it, roast it, steam it, boil it, bake it. These are some of the ways us handsome chefs bring culinary flavours to life. But here's the thing, sometimes the flavours are so good, you don't need to do anything at all. That's right, raw food has so much variety and depth, and best of all, it's good for you. That's why eateries across Brisbane are getting in on the raw food trend, like the new cheeky poke bar at West Village in West End. You know about going for a cheeky beer. Yeah. But this is about going for a cheeky poke bowl. That's what it's about. What's a poke bowl, I hear some of you ask? So poke, basically, Hawaiian word for diced fish. Right, right. Diced raw fish. Yeah. So everything's raw in terms of the food, in terms yeah. of the protein, but raw in terms of the veggies as well, and that's where you get your best nutrients out of them. Right, make me one. Okay. Make me one of your greatest hits. Cheeky Puke's delicious ingredients are locally sourced, like their Malulaba tuna and fresh salmon. And vegan and vegetarian diners can swap out seafood for mushrooms and tofu. How's it been received by, by your guests? Oh, uh, look, when you have people coming back every day, look, twice a day people come to get lunch and dinner. But when they come, when you got loyal customers, you know you want something. Thank you very much. Love it. So fresh, such purity and clarity of flavour. And did you see this nori? Did you see the little seaweed thing there? On Eagle Street, River Bar and Kitchen is impressing diners with their cheese and charcuterie plates. Is this all for me? Yeah. It's all for you. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're hungry. Now tell us, what have we got here? So we got a Wagyu brezzola here. We have an enduya here, spicy salami. Oh, that's good. That's good, eh? Oh, yeah. that's good. What's this one here? This one's a lonza. So it's lonza. Uh, pork loin, salted with a bit of fennel and some chili, and then hung to, out to air dry. In times gone by, it would have been a bowl of chips. You know, we're, we're, we're maturing well, aren't we? Yeah. Our palates. Yeah, I think Brisbane's coming up in the world. And how are these charcuterie, these sort of cured raw boards, how have they been received? I think people love them because you, know, you can eat them slowly and sit and talk to friends and have a few drinks. Further down the road at New Farm, newly opened Proud Mary is wowing with its seafood platters. If you ask most cooks or epicureans what they'd like to eat, it's stuff like this, just fresh seafood. In many cases, raw, unadulterated. It speaks of the confidence of the cook. There's a ceviche or a ceviche of salmon there with a red salsa, gazpacho, raw tomato soup, of course. Freshly shucked Pacific oysters. There's raw tuna, malulaba king prawn, salmon tartare. It's just like you've been tossed in the surf. Glass of champagne, please. In South Brisbane, Fish Lane is home to La Lune Wine Co, a stylish bar where you can pair the finest wines with imaginative raw dishes. When we first started the restaurant, we didn't have an oven, so uh, most of my uh, menu actually revolved around raw and fresh and um, uncomplicated cuisines. Chef Peter has created some amazing dishes that have a uniquely Aussie twist. Hang on, emu, kangaroo. Yeah, coat of arms. <laughs> as well as the emu tartare and kangaroo carpaccio. There's crudo of barramundi and oysters with a lemonade and sorrel snow. That's knockout, Peter, I gotta say. Just that interplay of flavors there, the balance of it, man, that's, that's amazing. And to think that everything we've eaten is raw or very lightly cooked, the variation in taste and texture is extraordinary. I mean, it's creative stuff. If I've whet your appetite, you know what to do. Jump onto the Great Day Out website for all the details of the places I've visited today. When the likes of billionaire Richard Branson decide to buy, only the best will do. I'm guessing that's why the heart-shaped makepiece island caught his eye. It's just a few minutes from Noosa and home to a stunning resort that can accommodate up to 22 guests. 
It's just reopened after a big refurb and it's looking more incredible than ever. There's not many places where you can come to hire the whole island and it's your home for a weekend. It is luxury, you've definitely got that five star experience and we've got a five star team that goes along with it. Obviously it's not cheap, but if you rented it for uh, 22 guests, then you're paying around $850 per person per night, which when you consider all of the inclusions, is very achievable. And for that special occasion, like a 50th birthday or a wedding anniversary, it's really perfect. I think I need to get my wife and find 20 other friends <laughs> and we can come and spend the weekend. You would have a great weekend. <laughs> Hastings Street might only be a stone's throw away, but you soon feel like you're in a secluded tropical paradise. The luxury villas boast a main bedroom with a deck, private lounge room, dressing room and bathroom. And this little piece of bliss is what they call a butler bath here at Makepeace Island. They generally run it while maybe you and your other half are in having a beautiful dinner. And then when you come back, it's set up rose petals in the bath, some champagne, oh, and of course, a chocolate dipped strawberry. Delicious. There are so many wonderful tastes to experience on the island. Not only does this look delicious, it smells delicious as well. It's a pumpkin ravioli with a burnt sage butter sauce. Mmm, yum. Oh. Good job, Chef. Yeah. Delicious. And Lisa, how would you sum up the dining experience for guests here at Makepeace? To sum it up, we want everybody to leave feeling fresh. We want to fill them up with beautiful, delicious produce. Lisa and her team also hold culinary masterclasses for guests that cover everything from making fresh pasta to French patisserie. Now you've had a great mix of guests that have come through here from regular people through to famous people like Justin Bieber and Will I Am. Any uh, secrets of what maybe the rich and famous might like to eat? Oh, I don't know if I can give away the oh. secrets, but I can say that they were beautiful guests to have on island, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ticking the box, very good Lisa, I like it. <laughs> Once you've rested up and been wined and dined, how is one entertained on Makepeace Island? A couple of games of pool at my very own pool table in my very own bar with my very own bartender. Hey Phoebe, can I get an Aperol Spritz? Yeah, no worries, Billy. Oh, how good is this? Or come and relax and watch a flick on the big screen in this huge media room. Or if you want to exercise your brain, how about some chess? If it's your body that needs a workout, a hit of tennis might do. Uh, yes. Then to unwind. Cheers. There's also plenty of fun to be had off island if you so desire. Kayaking and stand up paddleboarding can be arranged, as well as horse riding at Noosa North Shore, jet skis, offshore fishing. Pretty much whatever you can dream up, they can conjure up. But a highlight of most guests' stay is the Sunset Cruise on this 1930s replica boat. And it's easy to see why, with drinks and nibblies to set you up the Noosa River and an electric engine, so it's environmentally friendly. Let's go, Nick. Oh. The Sunset Cruise heads along the river into Lake Karoiba. There's wildlife to spot along the way and delicious seafood served. Oh, awesome. What do most guests say when they come on this Sunset Cruise? Oh, they're generally pretty amazed that we've only got to travel you know, 20 minutes in a slow boat and we're out of civilization completely. We're sort of back to old style Noosa, the way it looked 50 to 100 years ago. For more information on this incredible experience and other weekend ideas, head to our website. Thank you. Wow, that looks great. Well, I didn't think it was possible for the chefs to top today's lunch, but they've done it with a magnificent entree and main and followed by this, wow, that dessert just looks incredible. I think it's a great place for us to say goodbye after tonight's show. We hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you next week on The Great Day Out.